Hello and welcome to a very special something different. Today I'm going to be doing a mostly positive video on a couple of GW uh, announcements. Not releases per se, but announcements. And of course I'm going to add in this. Uh, tomorrow I will be doing a kind of check your uh, caution guys. You know, don't bring your enthusiasm up to a couple other things. And kind of what I expect for a couple other things coming down the road. And of course, if anybody would like to hear me uh, talk about some of the things that I agree with, especially on the uh, They Can't Write Lore Anymore Northern uh, Exile video, let me know in the comments. And by the way, another thing, apparently YouTube's got some issue with you saying stupid in there, and it tries to withhold comments. I've been trying to get it to not do that, but just as a forewarner. Let's go ahead and get into this. So, the squats got a new version of, well, the trike that came out. And I was actually kind of like, wow, why wasn't this in the Votan release? <laughs> the, um, the guys that they got going on, the Ironhead uh, prospectors, I'm, I'm always going to get those wrong, are a really fantastic take for... In my opinion, a uh, redo of the squats. A lot of the stuff just looks good, even when I don't really like something like the Exoken, which I don't think there was really a big market for those guys. I think there's a bigger market, especially Necromunda with the vehicle rules for these guys. And on top of it, let's be perfectly honest, there's probably more than a few people who would consider doing a little bit of a. Uh, modification of these to get them to work in their Votan for those little hover bikes. I like the the love and care they put on them. They're really good. They got some options. The styling that they have gone with the kind of mining aesthetic with NASA punk look to them. I think it's just bam. It's fantastic. I've said for a while that this is the aesthetic that they should have kind of well, clung to, because uh, it just really works for them. Um, it's really cool to see the trikes return, especially in a, a actually well-designed version. Uh, the older ones, ah, they were a little bit too letter daddy motorcycle, in my opinion. But hey, you know, some people like that, some people don't. I think this is a good compromise in making it into something that well, would could reasonably be used by scouts for mining rights and such. So I'm pretty happy about that. But I, again, think the Necromunda squats have the better aesthetic here. And there is, in my opinion, when you're going to judge things by their, their value in if people want to purchase it, I think these have more of a place than the other. There's three versions of them, multiple heads. They got two little scouting drones, and it's a nice take on a classic. So, two thumbs up from me on that one. Slightly positive, can't you hear it in my voice? So, let's move over to Kill Team. So, this is what, the third announced release for Kill Team in like, a month and a half or so I can't remember exactly the schedule and I'm gonna be more positive on this one since frankly I've been saying that they should focus more on new friendly kind of kits but also ones that can have some appeal to newer players and since I have had a little bit of time to learn a little bit of the rules I think these rules actually make some sense in that they're a little bit more generic at least in the initial element so you can kind of apply them more broadly to your guys which is pretty cool it's a, a nice little set and one of the things I'm most um, enthused about is the use of MDF um, well terrain I mean it kind of gives me a bit of a nostalgia hit back to the old Warhammer Fantasy uh, box that had the cardboard uh, terrain with the little plastic cornerstones and uh, the second edition box and a couple other boxes. It's more sturdy. It packs down. 
I think it's a, it's a pretty good idea, actually. So I'm going to give them a bravo on that. So thumbs up on the little terrain included. Um, now, they didn't have to spend a lot on this box. Because, if you don't know, both the teams in it are from the Space Marine Heroes. And they all, of course, you, you don't see any of it, but they all have options for helmeted heads. And a, they, they, wrote, they had these already. So this is not costing them any more research and development. And it can appeal to some people because some people just didn't have a chance to collect either team. Uh, if you're a uh, Death Guard player, you're definitely going to probably be interested in this for the Malignant Plaguecaster who's in this in a far better version. I don't think he has a spare head or an optional head, but every other guy in the Death Guard units does. Personally, they're the guys I'm interested in to help, you know, change up some of the posing on my uh, Death Guard guys, mix it up a little bit more. And the thing I couldn't help but notice on the Space Marine side is they look, um, they're starting to look more and more like a tactical squad. Is does anybody Did anybody else notice that? You got the heavy weapon, you got the sniper for the special weapon, and then you just got the intercessor dudes otherwise. Um, interesting that they kind of went for that kind of tactical squad feel. Um... Overall, it's a nice box. I'm a little bit hesitant because it does give you a good amount of, in my opinion, value for buck. But my hesitancy comes down to the price, which I don't know as of yet. But what I'm thinking is probably going to be priced around is probably about $80, $85, $90 range. That kind of block is what I'm imagining they're going to shoot for with this. Um... I don't know, but I think that would be about the right price to keep it in the casual department without it being uh, seeming like a cheap cash in in a way. Now, if it's $60, I'd actually think it's a fantastic value, especially for people who want to uh, get a kid involved in Kill Team, learn it out or check it out, learn it. Um, plus, the rules are going to be free for Kill Team, so my one big critique I was going to have before checking through all my information was that I was going to say they shouldn't have just a starter handbook, it should be a full-on rule book. So, I mean, you're getting enough to play a decent amount. Um, now, if you don't like Death Guard and you don't want Space Marines, it's not the most appealing to you, but I think for what it is what they're offering it's not a bad one i definitely give it a recommend if somebody was interested in it so there we go everybody we have um two releases or upcoming releases that i actually think were good moves bay games workshop i do think it's interesting um i'm wondering if warhammer is losing a little bit of steam I mean 40k because there's so many people angry about 10th edition but um I don't know this does seem like a nicely rounded starter box the squad trikes seem like a really nice redo of an old classic and honestly it's 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 one of those things it's like both offshoot games that I seem to have more of a I'm more ha I'm happier with than the main stuff, which is kind of sad in this department. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good value? Do you think they did a good job with the trikes? Are you interested in Necromunda or the squats there? Or are you thinking that this might be a box that you might want to pick up for a kill team? I'd like to know. Because all I can go off is that I'm probably going to buy the trikes just because I like the Iron Head squads. And they're kind of closer to what I'd want than Votan has been so far. But I also really like Necromunda, so there's that. Um, let me know. And if you want to hear me talk about any of those other topics, just let me know. But tomorrow, we're going to have another one that talks about some of my misgivings on a couple of the upcoming 
Army releases. So thanks for joining me and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.